Alrighty. Hello, hello, hello. This is Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. <sighs> it has been a long day, but I am coming um, to you with a, another review. Um, and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, thank you for those that have been watching the channel. Thank you for those that have subscribed. Um, I will be doing this review and I will also in the um, upcoming weeks be uploading some different um videos that I will be transferring over from my Facebook page. So um, both my personal as well as um, the Fix It With Fran Facebook page. So those will be things that will be coming up for you to see. Um, so as you've noticed, I do a variety of different types of reviews and they are literally all things that I have used and um, have an opinion on that I share with you just based on requests that I've received from different um, companies and items that again, I have actually received to review and share with you. Um, and that being said, uh, one item you may have seen in the past, I've received some different um, face masks to review. This one here is this orange um, premium collagen face mask. Uh, and what I always like about these is that I will get these and they um, come in packs of five or I think sometimes they can actually be purchased in a single pack. Um, but when I get these, uh, the, the directions um, are on the back and they do tell you that you can place it in the refrigerator for five to ten minutes. So looking at these, I've used the um, gold, the gold mask i've used the charcoal mask i've used the aloe mask and the grape mask so this is my first time using the orange version um and for me when i talk about self-care i talk about that all the time on the blog on my instagram on my facebook i'm one of those people that um i, I think i mentioned this here lately even on my facebook page when I am not feeling well, like this week, I've been dealing with allergies. I'm still a little bit congested. I do have a little bit of a cough um, because we had another cold front come through and it went from being 70 some degrees down to 48 degrees here in Louisiana, which doesn't really happen. Um, on those days, I do when I'm, if I'm dealing with any kind of wheezing or again, the allergies, congestion, um, pain and things like that, I um, have to rest. I have to take some time and deal with that, especially if it does anything to my joints or inflammation um, but I also just take time just to pamper myself and really take care of myself instead of being frustrated that I'm not feeling well or that I'm stuck back inside um, and one thing I do is to do facials or even just you know take care of my feet or pamper my skin little things because again like I always say if I'm stuck if I'm already frustrated that I'm inside I want to do something else to make myself feel a little bit better or to love on myself literally um and doing little things like facials or taking a nice bath um you know using a little lotion giving myself my own hand massage to me that does a little something as far as self-care to make me feel better um being a person that's a social worker I deal with um, stressful things that can go on with families, stressful things that can go on as far as person's health. Um, and so taking care of myself and, you know, making sure that at the end of the day, I'm doing a little bit of extra for me is part of my self care. Um, and people will often comment on my skin or on how things are. Today, I'm dealing with a little bit of blemishes and that happens too. So oftentimes when people say that to me, I think, I see the mumps that I have. I see the scars or the um, black spots or whatever the case may be. Um, but I did want to share that too, is that um, for me, like I said, I deal with everything. I always like process things, but all the things for me usually come back to scripture. And I was thinking about this product review today, and I will tell you more about the product. Um, but I remember being younger and as I was starting to learn scripture and things became really more personal for me, um, one of the first things I did when I learned about um, different scriptures that talked about um, your health and wellness. Um, there is a verse in the Bible that says, um, beloved, I, I think it was one of the disciples who um, was writing um, and he said, I, I pray that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. And for me, that was powerful because I thought, you know, I don't want to just grow spiritually. I also want to be healthy. And I remember there was another scripture or a verse that says um, that, your bones and your skin will glow with life. And it was, to me, my takeaway was about spiritual growth, that as we grow spiritually, that we not only will have the, the results of that and it'll be reflected in our life, 
but you, you will have an outer effect where people will see you and you'll look different and you'll be different and they'll be literally a part of your health that reflects that. Um, so oftentimes when people say that to me about um, how I look or how my skin is or how my hair is, even when I was younger, um, I always say to people, I know Old Testament, sometimes we break away from that and you know we say we're not under the law because Jesus Christ came and, and when he came, the veil was split, the veil was torn and, and we don't have to go through all the things that we did when we were, you know, stuck under the, the law of the Ten Commandments. Um, and there's, I always say it's more complicated than that I know, but um, basically if when you hear people say the whole part about no longer being under the law, um, when Jesus Christ came in and, and came and offered himself as the perfect sacrifice, he then became um, our, our salvation and there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. So when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're no longer bound by the commandments of you must do this and this and live this way and, and how the Pharisees and Sadducees would say you had to follow certain rules in order to be um, a good Christian kind of thing. Um, and I'm getting in a whole nother tangent, but um, there was a verse in the Old Testament and it gets into like, oh, women have to wear their hair covered and this and that and the third but I remember it said something about um, women should desire long hair because it is to be their covering. And I didn't care about the rules and the, the whole thing about women have to be covered and wear long dresses and this and that. I always thought to myself as a young person, if there is a scripture and there's something that matters to me, it matters to God. And if I can find a scripture and pray a scripture, because I always knew and understood and I, I really felt connected to um, where the Bible tells us that God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he would have to repent. God's word is true. And I, I've stood on so many promises over the years of my life where I know that God has always come back to me and, and, and been faithful or shown me the direction of why something didn't come to pass. Um, and that's my own personal testimony of saying that taking care of myself, taking care of my skin, praying scriptures over myself. When I was younger and wanted my hair to grow, I remember I would pray the scriptures over my hair and I would take care of my hair and be it the attention that I gave to myself and praying the scriptures and the combination of the two, um, I always saw different results. Um, so I say that to say in a shorter way, you know, really praying those things, being attention to those things. And again, the scripture says that the Lord delights in giving us the desires of our hearts. So when I always say that it comes back to seeking him, trusting him, asking for his direction, because if it's not meant for you to have those things, he will always make it clear and he won't leave you wondering. Um, now back to the product that I'm reviewing. Um, I really like these and I use these. I've had my husband use these um, as an entertainment to me. He doesn't seek it out. I'm always like, why well, can I do this? And he'll let me. And that's another reason why I love him because we have a lot of fun together um, in those ways. I did this once with my mom. I love my mom. And I learned then that it is good to let it rest for a little bit when you take it out of the fridge because each pack is like this. And there is a little bit, if I hold it close, you'll see, you see that fluid there? There's a little bit of the um, like collagen solution that's in there and it gets really cold. When it says only to leave it in there for like five or 10 minutes, we left it in maybe five. And I guess maybe it was the setting that the fridge was on, but it got really cold. And my mom, I told her it was going to be cold when I put it on her. And she laid there and she knew I had her, you know, I was, we were sitting in the living room. She was laying on the couch and I said, mom, it's going to be cold. And I put it on her face and she jumped up and I said, I really thought she was going to grab my hand <laughs> and we still laugh about that to this day. But there's some small slits that are cut there. Um, sometimes, especially with my husband, I like ripped it a little bit more, but the this is really saturated in that solution. So you'll take it out. Um, and I, it does say to kind of like preserve it because when you take this out, it'll be easy for this to kind of flow and kind of get everywhere. Um, I usually just tear it from one corner and then slide it out. Um, be careful because this kind of can tear, but even if it does tear, it, as long as you can get the mask on your face or have somebody help you put it on, if you have someone to help you, that is preferred. I'm not going to try to put it on by myself right now because my husband, um, my handy assistant, also known as my husband, better known as the husboo, um, is watching TV in the other room and I'm not going to bother him. But um, having used these a couple of times, those would be my tips is to 
open it from one side or just a corner, slide it out slowly, kind of let it drain or drip a little bit. Have a towel on standby if you can, because that kind of can catch some of the drip and eliminate a lot of mess. And then just put it over your face. And with my husband, we kind of um, had a towel covering him, slid it up and put it over. I tried to do that with my mom, but again, when I tell you I took it and when I had all that set up and put it on, she jumped up, so we had to regroup there. Um, when you, If you do decide to chill it, um, let it sit for a couple of minutes because she, <laughs> it was so funny. Now when I mention these, she's not having it. And I left um, like the pack of them with her. She, I don't know if she's done any more of them. Um, but it will do a great job. You will feel a difference. I felt not a, a, not a tightening that was pleasant, not tightening in the sense of, oh my gosh, my face feels like it's never going to loosen up again. But um, it felt very much moisturized. It felt like um, if you've ever gone to have a facial done and felt rejuvenated afterwards, it's like that feeling. But it's nice to be able to do that at home. Um, if you look at my fridge right now, you'll see a couple of packs of these because, like I said, I like them. I find them to be convenient. And if I'm at home and just want to do a nice little spa day, um, soak my feet, like give myself a, a pedicure, do a little manicure for myself, it's nice to be able to have this on standby because then I can do a full spa day for myself and have a good time. Um, but again, it's all to me about really having these little options to take care of myself. And I'm a person that, I mean, I go to the spa, I will get a massage. I'll get a facial and I'll treat myself in those ways. But again, I'm a homebody. I like creature comforts and things like this where you can order it online, um, have it at your own disposal. It's great to do. Um, um, other things that the product does describe is um, having a towel handy, like I said. Um, they're delicate. It's not sticky. It is. Um, it has some weight to it. So it's not like the paper mask that you'll use where you kind of feel like it's going to rip or it's going to tear. It's going to come off. When you put this on, it, it's it's going to feel um, very much present. You'll notice it. You'll feel like, okay, it's there. It's on my face. You might even be comfortable enough to get up and move around. Like I've done these enough times that I've gotten up, I've moved around, I've walked to the bathroom. Um, but again, if you're a person that you're not comfortable doing that, you don't really feel like you have enough um, um, vision left to do it, don't push yourself because um, unless you open up the eye socket a little bit more to see, you, you are going to have very limited vision. And I wouldn't advise someone to just get up and do that if if that's not your just Don't do it. Um, but again, like you could sit there and it even says to make your own spa. You could light a candle. You could play some music. You could have your own day. Um, if you're a person like me that um, sometimes gets migraines or just has bad headaches in general, um, this will be something that could really help because it's going to give you a, a nice cooling sensation around the temples, around some of those um, trigger spots. If you're a person that has um, like the, um, what is it, um, audio, uh, visual or um, what is it? I know it's like a audio or a visual stimulation or whatever that can trigger the migraines. Let me leave that alone for the doctors. But if you have migraines, I think you'll know what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to in that sense. Um, but it can help with soothing some of that and just um, dealing with any of those things, especially with sinus pressure. Um, and again, I'm not a medical professional. I am a somewhat clinical social worker, but in the sense that if you're dealing with any kind of pressure in these areas around the T-zone in the somewhat um, sinus areas, you're going to feel the mask here in some of those spots. So it could help. Um, and again, just taking care of your face. Um, as far as storing the mask, keeping it in a cool place, keeping it somewhere where it's not going to get too warm because it is a material that if it were like in a hot car, it could damage the mask. Um, before you um, use this, you do want to have a clean face. It's not meant to be um, a cleansing mask. It is a treatment mask. So you want to wash your face, exfoliate, do any of that before you actually use this mask. Um, and then having the towel, even as you use it, um, you want to make sure that you have a towel just to catch any liquid that might drop. Um, they do also say, um, if you remember earlier on, I described that there's the liquid that floats around in here. Um, when you take the mask out, if you do it however you choose or how I described, just opening one side or a corner, the um, reserved um, fluid that you have, 
you could take some of that if you sit for a little while and if it starts to dry out, you could take some of that and then apply it underneath or on your face and continue sitting with the mask. Um, it says to do it for about 25 or 30 minutes. And if you feel like it's drying and, and you want to get more um, of a moisturizing effect, you could add more of that liquid to it because there's going to, th this mask, when you open it up, it's going to be really saturated. And when you take this out and put it on, if you want more moisturization, if you sit for a while, and let's say you're watching a movie, watching a show on um, whatever medium you decide to watch it on. I won't mention any in particular um, or streaming channel, be it that. Um, you can just add some more and they do also say for um, best results to do this three times a week. So as I mentioned, there are five that come in a pack. Um, so you can do this and, and if you want to invite somebody along, you at least have enough to do it three times for yourself and then invite someone to at least do it twice. So that's kind of nice. And if not, you can keep all five for yourself and do it at least um, for a full regimen and then start another one and before you have to reorder. Um, so again, that's my quick rundown of this. I like it. As I said, I have um, the orange set, the aloe set, the gold set, um, the charcoal set. There may be another one that I'm not mentioning, but um, I've used it. I've continued to use it um, and I won't give a false advertisement for it. I'm not a person that has a lot of breakouts or a lot of acne or uh, trouble skin in general. Um, I do have somewhat oily skin, um, like the T-zone kind of trouble. But in general, folks do tell me, um, even when I have facials done, that I usually um, have nice skin or nicer than average skin. That's probably nothing but God. Um, so I just want to let you know that so that I'm not, you know, setting anybody up for any kind of false expectations. So if I had to give this a review, I would definitely give it like a four out of five. I've yet to have any problems with these or any complaints. I think my mom might have more than I do. Um, sometimes I think I'm a little annoyed by the size of like the holes on these, but I think were they any bigger, it would just kind of be you know, hit or miss for somebody. It's not going to be the right size for some person. And I think this may just be standard size for any mask because when you get the paper ones, they're about that size too. So mm, that's just individual preference. I don't know if you could really make them a certain shape that would make it any easier to apply the mask because they're just stiff, kind of awkward to deal with. But when you get it on, you get it on and, and you're happy with the final result, at least for me. Um, so it's Fixed with Fran. We're talking about all things faith, family, food, and fun. This is a fun one for me because taking care of myself and doing those little things, especially when I'm under the weather um, and just wanting to do something nice for myself, it's always fun. So thank you for watching. Um, as I always say in most of my videos, I do truly believe that we are all gifted with talents and gifts that God has given us to solve some problem in the world. Um, and while we can't fix everything, I do believe again that we are all gifted with some talent and skill that can fix something. So if you've yet to find that thing that you are able to fix, if you trust God, if you seek him and um, seek his direction, I do believe that you'll be able to find that thing that is out there and to go fix it. So until next time, I pray that you will find that thing and fix it. Thank you for watching.